Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have children in the age of 18, you also need a parenting plan, child support order, child support worksheets. Yes. Child support schedule and instructions, financial declaration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're asking for a restraining order. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Now, um, this issuance of restraining orders that happen to be unnecessary. Coach. <laughs> I just want to know how many of these extreme protection risk orders are being issued, right? How many restraining orders? Mm -hmm. How many no contact orders? Yes. How many temporary protection orders? Yes. How many reissue temporary protection orders? Yes. How many renewal temporary protection orders? Yes. And then how many orders for protection are actually being issued? Seems like somebody's going hog wild on these things, and I know that domestic violence is a very serious crime. <laughs> but just because you're getting divorced doesn't mean you need a restraining order. Judges seem to be, um, well, how should I say, mm -hmm. um, discriminatory against the party that is not filing for dissolution of marriage? Yes. Heidi actually motioned the court for dissolution of marriage. Oh, had me arrested three days later for the allegation of violating the protection order where I wasn't given any notice or opportunity to be heard. Yeah. Had you reissue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a protection order? Yes. Renew the order for protection without you, the court, waiting to find out if I had broke it or not? Yes. Had two court commissioners involved in the reissuance of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. While I was on trial. Um, I like to have my sons. The uh, motion to modify the order for protection? Yeah. Uh, Court of Washington for Clallam County? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this says Superior Court of Washington, but it doesn't. Um, just so that I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you wrote Clallam County in here? Yes. But if you went to the website, it actually has it already put in there. Oh. But I don't see a Superior in front of Court of Washington. Yeah. Now, um, that's why you put it up here instead of over here? Yes. So, petitioner versus respondent. Mm -hmm. I am the petitioner. Uh, I request the court to enter in order to modify. Mm -hmm. um, the modified court order. Yes, petitioner motion to modify. Yeah. On 10 2 of 2012, yeah. Order modifying terms of the protection order, yes. Mm -hmm. um, Brent Basden, now uh, the order referred should be modified or terminated because, yes. Then um, terms and conditions, a penalty of perjury again, uh, signature of the moving party, no. <laughs> It does say this document must be served on the other party and proof of service must be in the court file prior to the hearing. Yes. But I don't see that you actually served me. Yes. Or, or there was proof of service uh, in the court file prior to the hearing. Yeah. There was a petition, right? A declaration. Yes. A modification in a court hearing, right? Then you reissued the temporary protection order. Uh huh. And um, you had a court hearing without actually having proof of cert. But you didn't have to. You just reissued it, right? <laughs> then you served me on ten sixteen of two thousand twelve. When? Mm -hmm. How come I didn't get a copy of the declaration of Pastor Greg Miller? Oh. Order modifying, yes. 
a motion hearing, yes. And then another motion hearing from 1016 to 1026, yes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get any uh, actual notice. Uh, Superior Court of Washington, Clallam County, uh -huh. order modifying, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, confession modified, um, uh, the parties are directed to appear for a hearing on or at, uh -huh. it will be effective until the hearing is scheduled below, um, again, service of court for a copy, mm. You know, um, it, it seems that uh, you, you just don't want to recognize the laws. Yeah. Now I got this. I got this letter I for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, there was some reason. Um, internal. Yes. Interior. Oh. Interest, oh, internal affairs. Oh. Now, for some reason, the Squim Police Department doesn't have an internal affairs. Yes. And uh, Port Angeles doesn't. And um, every police department of the United States doesn't have any employees. I'm going to sue the internal affairs. I think we're talking cop right now. You understand? I want the last 60 years of employees of every police department where it was their actual job to make sure that no police officer or no sheriff could actually violate the civil rights of American citizens. Now, when I emailed the Atlanta Police Department and the Las Vegas Police Department, oh, and no one... That's right, police chief. Pooch. Now give me the accreditation from Kalia. All of those that are six star accredited. Ouch. I think you got one star too many. <laughs> now every police department can lose their accreditation from Kalia because every fucking one of you right now, every police department that knows of this crime of violating my rights and the rights of my family. I'm going to make absolutely fucking sure that you never get a credit for a fucking thing. Okay. Now get me all the accrediting of every police department of the United States. Now I want my son, you piece of shit. <clears throat> so make sure that I know every person that's employed in internal affairs and every police... Uh, 